Hello, Rising Tribe. Welcome back to another video here on Raising Wellness. I'm so grateful for you guys being here. Today's video, I'm super excited about. It's my top four tips on how to begin self-acceptance and self-love and really the foundation and the basis of transforming your journey and your life and manifesting that reality that you have so been dreaming of. jump right into this video and give you the top four tips that I have that I have personally used and I've used with my clients in the past and have seen them have huge success with it and also myself have huge success with it. If you guys don't know anything about my journey, definitely pop back into some of my older videos. I'll throw some down below that you can take a look at so you can see where I've come from, maybe relate to my story and see how these tips can truly change and transform your life. So tip number one is gratitude journaling. You guys know that I'm so huge on gratitude journaling. This is where I got my start on a self-acceptance and self-love path and really transformed my life from a place of sad, sad depression and hopelessness into a vibrant, beautiful and ever growing and changing life. So gratitude journaling is huge. It is the place where you can begin accepting your life, what you have already, who you are already, and what you do already. Gratitude journaling allows you to create that space in your mind to start creating new pathways that are positive and remind you that you are already exactly where you're supposed to be doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing and where you are is perfectly okay and it's a place where you have to start and when you gratitude journal you begin to see all of those things again that you do have because a lot of times when we're out of touch with our inner self our inner truth is because we're always looking at the things that are going wrong the things that aren't going right the things you don't have the things that you're lacking and you've just walked that pathway so many times it's become so much of your truth but your truth can be the positive side it can be a side that's grateful and open and receiving and beautiful. You just have to train your brain. If you guys want to start gratitude journaling, if you haven't or if you kind of fell out of touch with it, I have a free PDF down below for a seven day challenge that you can do on your own and then you'll be put into my Facebook Raising Wellness Gratitude group once you download that free PDF and it just helps you to get started again and just helps you to get started. Just really, it's a beautiful practice to begin and I have labeled out each day, so started on a Monday, um, each day to help you focus on a specific area of your life, a specific topic, just so you can begin to see the beauty that is truly your life. Tip number two is releasing fear. Releasing fear of judgment, releasing fear of the future, releasing fear in general. It is a draining emotion to have and to focus on when a lot of times fear is preventable. A lot of times fear is something that happens when we're just thinking so hard about, oh, we did that wrong, we shouldn't have done that, that we were embarrassed ourselves or fear of the future. What am I becoming? Who am I? What am I doing? Am I gonna have enough money? Am I gonna be able to support myself? Whatever your fears are, whatever judgments you hold claim to that are draining you, it's time to release them. Let them go. Do not give them any more of your power and give your energy and focus to your gratitudes, to your gratitude journaling. Give that focus there instead of allowing fear to pull you back into those lower vibrations and pull you away from the truth of your absolute beauty and perfection. So release the fear, let it go, let those layers shed off of you. It will take some time and I'll be posting so many more videos about this to help you guys out. But just come into your gratitude journaling and notice where you have resistance or fears and just do not let them serve you. Give them no more of your power. They are not your truth unless you give them your energy. So if they if there's something that you don't want to give your power to, if you don't want to 
have that emotion come up in your life or that fear come up into your life, then just stop giving it power and focus on your gratitudes. Tip number three is claiming the present as perfect. Claiming what is here and now as absolute perfection. It is exactly how it's supposed to be. It is helping you move forward. It is challenging you and growing you and giving you exactly what you need to learn to be the best and most vibrant person that you possibly can be. So claiming the present as perfect. It doesn't mean getting into the mindset of thinking maybe you're in an abusive relationship and thinking, oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what's supposed to be happening to me in my life right now. No, look at it from a positive direction. Find that silver lining. Use your gratitude journal to find that silver lining and to notice that you are perfection. And if this thing is draining you, this emotional uh, uh, relationship and abuse is draining you, then release it and find what it taught you, what it's growing and challenging you with and helping you move forward with and what knowing it's helping you move forward in your life with. Maybe it's simply that this person isn't for you. You are not worthy of that relationship. That is okay. Move forward, release it, release it. And my top four tip is going to help you further with that. Just release it, find the silver lining and get yourself into a space that is positive and healthy and vibrant. Also, I have created a meditation for you guys all about finding the perfection of self-acceptance and finding the perfection of the moment that you have right here and now from a positive space. So if you want to check out that meditation, make sure you do it after this video so that you get my top four tip coming up in a second. And just allow that meditation to ground you down whenever you're feeling that the moment isn't right or things are out of place or your life is chaotic or you're overwhelmed, come back to that meditation and use it to ground you down into the perfection of the moment and what it is right there and now. Top four tip, this one is huge you guys, and this is to forgive, to forgive yourself, to forgive others, to forgive any worries you have in your head, to forgive the past, and this one is so critical, is to forgive yourself whenever you feel like you make a mistake or whenever you feel like you did something that was wrong or someone else did something that was wrong. Forgive. Do not let that energy of hate or anger or stress suffocate your growth because when you focus on it and you focus on it and you focus on it, that is what it's doing. It's draining you from having the energy to give towards your growth. So forgiveness write letters of forgiveness. Maybe after your meditation practice every day or after you gratitude journal every single day, take a moment and send someone a message, a text message, a snail mail message, whatever it is that you want, and send them just a quick letter of forgiveness, a quick letter of gratitude. If it was something that wasn't good or something that was a challenge in your life or maybe it was an abusive relationship that you were in, send them a letter saying, I'm grateful that you taught me X, Y, and Z and I'm thankful that we had this relationship together and I know we're better off a separate from each other and I'm just sending you love and release it out. Make that person know that, or allow that person to know that you forgive them. But what's most important is that you make space for that forgiveness to come up, for that hurt and anger to come up and be released from you so that you no longer give it attention or focus or energy. So forgiveness, you guys. Forgiveness of yourself as well. And these, a lot of times we, we get stuck in these mindsets, oh, I should have done this, oh, I, I, I didn't work out today, I'm a piece of crap. Forgive yourself. Stop letting the energy of negativity drag you down and those low vibrations to drag you down. You are a high vibrational creature who is meant and is here already as perfection and is meant to live a vibrant and beautiful life. So do not let yourself get sucked down into those spaces that aren't accepting of who you are right here and now with love. And these are the top four tips, you guys. So number one, gratitude journaling. Make sure that you get that PDF down below so I can drop you into the Facebook group so you can 
be there with other high vibe people and just really get into the energy of gratitude for your life. Two, releasing fear of judgment, fear of the future, fear of self, whatever fears you have, releasing them, letting them go, getting rid of them, and not allowing them to hold you anymore. And three, claim the future as perfect right here and now. It is teaching you exactly what it's supposed to be teaching you. And if you want, don't forget that meditation. I will link it down below so you can begin practicing that mindset. And four is forgiveness just to forgive so that you can make space for self-love and self-acceptance all right you guys those are my top four tips to begin a self-acceptance practice and to bring that beautiful energy into your life knowing that right here and now is exactly perfect and teaching you exactly what it's supposed to be teaching you for your ultimate growth and to align and connect with that higher truth and higher vision of who you are and my biggest hope is that you guys have found that this resonated with you and can find ways to use it in your life. If you have questions or concerns or other ideas for your own self-acceptance practice that you want to put down below to help the community, totally drop that all down in the comments. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like, give it a subscribe, and hit that little bell down there because I put out videos every week, but there's no rhyme or reason to which day I put them out, so that will alert you when I give more videos and more content to you guys. And last but not least, don't forget about those two links down there for the gratitude PDF and the meditation that I also created for you guys. And until next time, my name is Shelby, this is Raising Wellness, and I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and so much gratitude.